Hello! Today, another exciting adventure. We're going to make roasted peppers. And I'm going to show you a couple tricks on how making roasted peppers is really super easy. But first, the ingredients. Here I have two beautiful yellow and red pepper that I bought recently from the market. Some fresh rosemary from the garden, uh, olive oil, some salt, pepper, and a lemon. The salt and the lemon and the olive oil will be used for preserving the peppers. And that's it. Let's get started. Oops, I forgot an important ingredient that I feel I really need to mention. You'll need a plastic resealable sack to put your peppers in. Okay, so let's just get started. First I cut the peppers in half and I remove the membrane just by pulling it out and try to get all the yicky bits. And then simply, you take your pepper and you put it on your baking tray. I like to line my baking tray because I have experience I learned that the peppers can really stick to the metal tray. So I lined it, add a drizzle, swirl it around, and I'll grab my other peppers, repeat, there's no need to coat the pepper. You just simply swirl it around the bottom. Now my oven is preheated to 225 degrees, so I want it to start really hot, and then I'm gonna turn it down to 200. Peppers smell like they're nice and well roasted. Time to take a peek. Nice. Here we go, I'm gonna pull them out. And they should look like that. Nice and brown and crackly on top. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Next step is very simple. You take your plastic sack and you simply lift off your peppers from the baking tray. Now you understand why I suggested to line it, because look how yicky it gets. And it's really not fun scrubbing that off of your metal tray. Okay? Seal the sack. And let them rest for about 15 to 20 minutes, because we want them to cool down. The purpose of the sack is that it'll be very easy to pull this peel the skins off of the pepper. While that's happening, we're going to sterilize our jar. So I simply fill up the kettle with some water, let it boil away. Fill up the jar, put the lid on, and let you do it. Okay, as you'll see, I'm peeling the peppers, and just to let you know, the plastic bag or sack is gonna look really yicky like this, but that's normal. And you just simply stick your hand in, see they're nice and cool, and the skin just peels off now. Okay, after I've peeled all the peppers, I just slice it, roll them up, because it makes a beautiful presentation in your jar. And honestly, don't fret if there's a bit of the skin left on the pepper. Sometimes they're difficult to get off, and sometimes it's not that complicated. Okay. I've sterilized my jar. Ooh, it's hot. Dump out the hot water and then quickly add the peppers while everything is still nice and hygienic. And I try to make a little design as I'm filling the jar. Add some beautiful fresh spices from the garden. And I just picked some lovely rosemary and some beautiful basil. Fill with olive oil. Oh, look at the mess on the countertop. Sorry. But cooking is messy. 
<sighs> okay. We like spice in this house, so I'm going to add some black peppercorns. Now I'm going to add some salt, about one teaspoon or two pinches. This helps with the preserving process and also with the taste. And one tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice is very important because that's what actually um, present, prevents everything from becoming yicky and filled with bacteria. It's about a half a lemon. Okay. Now we're going to seal our jar up. Here's an example of the finished product without the spices. This one is ready to go into the saucepan. Just making sure the cap is on nice and tight. And I'm dropping it into my boiling water. And we let the boiling do the rest. Ding! 20 minutes has passed. It's time now to remove the peppers from the hot water. Turn the power off. Ooh, it's going to be hot. Drain some of the water off to make it easier to fish out the peppers. Now, as I said before, it's really important to make sure the lid is super tight. 